Hey there guys, Dylan Campbell here, here to review a uh, whole mess of trailers. I, that video I got up not too long ago, I was just all disappointed, like, yeah, I got four to review, and that, like, literally, it was two days after I filmed it, boom, trailer tidal wave just crashing down on the world, just like, oh, thank God. But I had to upload the other one, so, yeah, I'm way behind now. <laughs> Alright, so here's what we're going to do. The first trailer, we're going to start at the depths of movie hell, and we're going to work our way up. So we're going to start with So Undercover, Starling Miley Cyrus. Alright, so this isn't the worst trailer I've ever seen. That distinction goes to LOL starring Miley Cyrus, also. This is pretty bad, though. I mean... Miley Cyrus, a tough streetwise FBI agent. Yeah, that's exactly what I think of when I see Miley Cyrus. <laughs> Jeremy Piven's awesome. What's he doing in this movie? But like I said, it doesn't look like the worst thing. I mean, LOL has that distinction where it looks like the most predictable, piece-of-crap, cliché-filled thing ever. This just looks, like, really, really bad only. I mean, sure, Miley Cyrus, at least she's trying to do something different work with her career where she's at least trying to become like a kind of a tough chick, you know, but it's just, it just doesn't come off very believable and, oh god. Next up is The Crudes, starring Nicolas Cage, Emma Stone, and Ryan Reynolds. Crudes, I'm pretty excited for this one. This looks funny. It's from DreamWorks Animation. They're always pretty reliable with their movies. And it just looks really fun and, yeah. One of the two writers wrote things like Aladdin, Mulan, Lion King, Lilo and Stitch, How to Train Your Dragon. So that guy's really good. The other one brought us Racing Stripes and Space Chimps. So the one writer's <laughs> really good, works and good stuff. So I'm still excited for this. I think the movie looks really good. Then we get the new trailer, the real trailer for Man of Steel, because the first one was a teaser. And uh, Man of Steel, I'm still... Still waiting to be really impressed. I mean, we haven't got really a whole lot of really cool action. I mean, this this trailer had some nice little shots. It looks to be actually really good. It looks like uh, Zack Snyder's really going all out and focusing on characters and stuff as opposed to something like Sucker Punch. So yeah, this looks pretty good. Zack Snyder, you can definitely feel like there's a Nolan influence on this movie. And it's so far, it's looking good, but I'm still, I'm not sure about our main guy here. I'm not sure about Mr. Superman. Henry Cavill, man, I'm not sure. I'm sure about Russell Crowe, Kevin Costner for sure. Kevin Costner's rocking it in this trailer. He's so good. Russell Crowe and Amy Adams are pretty good, but Kevin Costner looks like he's going to be the man in this movie. He's going to be really good. I like the way they play up his character saying, you know, um, Clark, maybe you shouldn't show your powers because, you know, the government will want to just put you in a cage and, you know, stuff like that. So maybe you should let some people die. You know, it's interesting characterization and I like it. You also get a shot or two of Michael Shannon as General Zod, so who knows, hopefully it's going to be pretty good. And then next up we got Star Trek Into Darkness. So, um, going from, um, Sonar Cover, not impressing at all. To the Crudes looks pretty exciting, and Superman wanting to be excited, but it's not really impressing me. We get Star Trek, something I I don't know nothing about Star Trek to be honest. I've never seen any of the old movies. I didn't even see the new one from two thousand nine, but this trailer blew me away. So honestly, I haven't seen any of the movies. I'll have to start watching them soon because I'm excited for the Star Trek too. It looks really cool. It's got some great visuals. All the old cast from their last movies back, and you get Benedict Cumberbatch as the villain. Benedict Cumberbatch looks to be awesome in this movie, and Chris Pine looks like he's going to do pretty good. I think everyone's going to do really well in this. This movie looks pretty cool. Don't get a whole lot. It's pretty much a teaser, but from what, the stuff they showed, I'm excited. It looks like this guy's going to um, come and mess up Kirk's life. So, excited for Star Trek 2. So yeah, Bolivian, starring Tom Cruise, uh, Olga Kurilenko, and Morgan Freeman. And Tom Cruise is basically he's part of this cleanup crew. They're repairing drones for Earth because it's basically been wiped out by these aliens. And there's no humans left on Earth, really. And yeah, Tom Cruise is like reminiscing about the past, the Super Bowl and everything. And then, well, something happens where he's like uncovering this weird thing. He finds Olga Kurilenko and she's... She's got some kind of secrets going on. She was in a weird 
thing. It's like she was frozen or something. I don't know what's going on with her character. You got Morgan Freeman, I think, as a villain. You got these aliens trying to kill Tom Cruise and stuff, and he's figured out something. Something's going on. There's Tom Cruise is going to try to stop it. And, um, like, you don't get a lot of what's going on, but it looks pretty cool. It looks good. And it looks a lot like the next movie I'm going to talk about, After Earth, starring Will Smith and his son, Jaden Smith. But, yeah, Oblivion looks pretty good. I'm kind of excited for it. I like the cast. It looks very interesting, and I guess whenever we get a new trailer, I might figure out more about it. So, After Earth, yeah, Will Smith and Jane Smith together. This movie looks like a very personal story between a father and son trying to survive on Earth now, yet it's inhabited by all these things that are just meant to kill humans. It looks very interesting. The visuals are amazing. Oh my god, the, yeah, this movie, look, this movie looks really, really good. And finally you got Will Smith in a movie again that you like really want to see. Because I mean, Men in Black 3, sure, if you like the movies, but it, it wasn't something that said, Will Smith movie, go see it because it's going to be awesome. I mean, this is like one of those, this is like back when Will Smith was in like iRobot and Independence Day, stuff like that, like these big action special effects, amazing looking movies. Um, I think people might think I robot not like that, but I kind of do. But yeah, so, and I think Jane Smith, he's finally in like a really good movie, because Karate Kid was okay, but this is like him and his dad in the same movie, and it looks to be like pretty, pretty spectacular. So I'm very excited to see After Earth. It looks really, really cool. Then next up, we get The Lone Ranger, starring Army Hammer and Johnny Depp. And, uh, hmm, I'm, I'm going to put it out there. I'm pretty excited for this one. I think Army Hammer looks to be pretty good in the movie, and Johnny Depp is always going to be pretty good. And they're definitely telling about the story where he apparently, like, he's the Lone Ranger. He can't be killed, so he's going to go in there and get justice because you can shoot him. He's not going to die, and Johnny Depp's kind of be helping him or something, I'm not sure. This movie looks pretty fun, I think it's gonna be cool. I mean, that just the shot where the uh, army hammer wakes up and he's on top of this giant tower, it's just a little wooden planking thing over top like a giant mountain. I, I mean, that looked pretty dang cool. And uh, the train sequence and everything, this movie could be the action blockbuster of next year, I think. So G.I. Joe Retaliation 2, this is the, um, the first trailer. We got a teaser before, and in that teaser, after that came out, they actually pushed back the movie. It was supposed to come out this June, and then they're pushing it back, supposedly for 3D. But I think a lot of people kind of have the same idea why, because in that teaser, it at least appeared to be that um, Channing Tatum's character Duke kind of got killed. I'm not exactly sure, but because the rest of the trailer didn't show me, it was only in the beginning. And then this one, we get a few other shots of Channing Tatum, but then it's Still all pretty much the same footage. We get some new shots though. I think it was London being destroyed. That looked pretty cool. We got some cool looking fighting and action shots. It looks pretty cool. The Rock's probably going to be awesome. Bruce Willis should be pretty cool. Everyone looking like it's going to be a pretty awesome action movie. And Channing Tatum, I'm pretty sure what they were doing was filming a lot more scenes for him because after Haywire and Magic Mike and all that, 20 and Jump Street, Channing Tatum's kind of a big star now. So. I think before they might have had him killed off and now they're bringing him, they brought him back to a film scene so they don't kill off the big movie star of the movie. But it's still pretty much The Rock's movie, I'm pretty sure. So whether or not they actually did uh, kill Channing Tatum off originally or not, he's going to be in the movie more and I guess three, in 3D soon. So whenever that does come out, I think it's like March or something. I'm excited for it now because that first teaser was kind of like, eh, looks cool, but now I'm sold. This movie looks awesome, and everything the first one wasn't. I didn't watch the first one, but the first one, you got Channing Tatum and Marlon Wayans running around these big stupid suits, and it, it just looked bad. So I wouldn't watch it, but this actually makes me want to watch a G.I. Joe movie, so that's a good thing. So, um, the last one, I think this was probably... I don't know if it was the best trailer, but it's the one that I'm almost most excited for, I would think. Pacific Rim starring Charlie Hunnam, Charlie Day, Idris Elba, and Ron Perlman. And um, two of those names might remind you of something. Ron Perlman and Charlie Hunnam from Sons of Anarchy, Respect. Best show on television, if I might say myself, but uh, yeah. And you also got Charlie Day from Horrible Bosses and Idris Elba from, I don't know, anything that's good. Luther, Ghost Rider 2, 
Yeah, and uh, Guillermo del Toro, kind of a hit and miss director for me. Because, I mean, he worked with Ron Perlman before on the Hellboy movies. And then he also worked on Don't Be Afraid of the Dark. Uh, pretty poor movie, if I must say myself. But Guillermo del Toro has always got a great imagination about things with monsters and stuff. He's very creative, and um, I like that about him. And this movie looks pretty cool. You got these monsters that came from the depths of the ocean and they're coming up to like destroy humanity and you got Charlie Hunnam and Idris Elba oh so they build these giant robotic monsters that they control with these suits and they're gonna go and they're gonna kick the sea monsters ass you know and uh, it looks pretty cool Guillermo del Toro is very creative so this movie should be very cool it looks visually exciting I like Charlie Hunnam he's a good actor Idris Elba is awesome Charlie Day is funny so I think he'll be the comic relief and Ron Perlman, they didn't really show him in the trailer, but whatever he's doing, yeah, hopefully it'll be pretty cool. And so I'm pretty excited for Pacific Rim, and that was the newest trailer. And so, how many trailers was that? Whew, that's a lot. But yeah, good trailers. And um, check out all these trailers, I would have to say. Even the bad ones, just check them out anyway. Hopefully no new trailers come up for a while. Because I'm tired of talking about them. But anyway, uh, if you like this video, like, subscribe. Um, thanks for watching. Comment below and tell me what your favorite trailer was. Um, was it Pacific Rim, G.I. Joe, Oblivion? Which one was it? You know, so tell me below. And thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later.